Stay here. I thought about that. Sunshine. Well, good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Good morning, Josh. How's work? Yeah, aren't you working with Amber now? You lucky dog. You. That, that's going great. Absolutely great. Go look, finding a place, a house, an apartment, doing wherever the hell you're from. Did he just walk up out of here with somebody screaming in his bag? Is it just me or is he walking around here like a zombie? And that is not normal. So you can't leave me here. You know? Stop. Why is he walking around here like that? I thought he'd be happy working with Amber. So did I. <laughs> so. What you got going on today? Still looking for a damn job. Mm -hmm. But I did look up on the second interview. Did you at least think about the Bryce deal yet? Uh, yeah, but I don't want to get into another entanglement with him. How much more do you got to decide? <laughs> but the buyers are on vacation anyway, and Bryce informed them that the creator mm -hmm. is a very busy man. Ooh, <laughs> looks like things are going up for my guys. Right, you know that. <laughs> Oh my god, what you doing today? As usual. Packing, and then I got Trent picking up shifts as usual. Our lives, right? Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Carter. Good morning, Mr. Fields. How is the coffee today? It looks like murky water and tastes like turpentine. Would you like some? Perfect. Oh, you really want me to drink the swamp water? Okay, you must really hate me. Uh, I, uh, uh, is that the lesson plan there? Yeah, I'm just going over it to make sure I don't forget anything. I swear that if I wasn't already teaching this class, I would fail it. This is ridiculous. You know, I tell my students every day not to leave stuff like this to the last minute. Well, I'm a teacher. There's different rules for me. Uh, okay, let the students hear you say that. <laughs> ah, just the two I wanted to see. Good morning, Eric. Good morning. Good morning, Amber. I just wanted to tell you two great job on the combined lessons plans this semester. You know the district was afraid it was going to be a big money pit, but somehow, you two pulled it off. Thank you. This coffee is delicious. Thank you, Eric. Oh, wow. This is good. Josh, can you come by my office at lunch today? I have something very important that we need to discuss. I'll be there. Good. Someone's in trouble. I uh, hope oh, not. I don't know what I could have done. Hopefully it's about the application for the full-time teacher's position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's because you made him drink the trash water. He liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Carpo? Oh, hi, Preston. What's happening? I just wanted to talk to you about something. Okay, can it wait till after class? I guess. Okay. I have meetings, but if you come right after class, I'll make time for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I'm here at the same time as you. You were supposed to be here at seven. I was supposed to be here at eight. What am I gonna do with you? Love me? Yeah, love you so good, I'll put you in a ditch. Let's go. Dr. Holden will be with you shortly. Shortly, what do you mean, Bill? Dr. Holden has another patient ahead of you. He will be with you shortly. Well, I need to tell you if you're not gonna see a patient at the right time. <sighs> He's patient. <coughs> Sorry. Put your damn mask on. Ain't nobody got time to do with your 100 mile per hour disease. <coughs> Projectile. So sorry. But I do believe it's 50 mile per hour max, actually. Hold on one second. Let me just say train right. Mr. Stricken, is it? Strickland, actually. It is recommended that you wear a mask. Seeing as I am the only nurse available, we wouldn't want the needle to accidentally hit your bone due to me accidentally coughing, correct? That's, that's a good point. Please wait in the waiting room. Now you do know that needle is not going to go in their bone. That yeah, but he don't know that. Now he's sitting there looking dumb with his damn mask on. How hard is it to wear a mask? Period. What happened to this place? Denise. Denise. Oh, that's starting to make more sense. Look, we have been telling him to bring in a partner. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Apparently, the doctor's son is coming in to work in as a new doctor. Wait a minute. <laughs> the doctor got children. Oh, I walked past the office this morning. I overheard De Denise talking to the doctor, and apparently he starts this week. Oh, another one of them. Look, he better know what he's doing because I cannot babysit another doctor. <laughs> he did graduate medical school. So did the person that owns this place. I guess. Is, is this a new clinic? I'm so excited. Hey guys. What's up? Excuse me, you can't just. Uh, um, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure, but uh, doesn't he need like a visitor's pass or something? Girl, oh, he got a pass. Don't worry about that. He got a hall pass, a season pass, shit. He got a pass to the Trent land. <laughs> so, he has a pass for you, but let's just hope he's qualified. Oh, he's qualified. He just graduated from medical school. Get out his credentials. <laughs> Honey, you left your cookies in the car. How can I help you? Oh, um. Boy. You do not check in patients. Get back to work. Speaking of credentials. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm here to see Dr. Johnson. Do you have an appointment? A lunch appointment, yes. Oh, you must be the doctor's wife. <laughs> Excuse me? Yes, I saw your husband running here full of energy. Did you bake those yourself? <laughs> well, My actually... queen. Sorry I took off. I have no idea. I do. <laughs> Y'all are just the cutest. <laughs> Y'all cute. It is so good to see supportive couples together because we all got Mr. Strickland. Thank you. Don't worry. Thanks for bringing these in. I made you guys all some cookies. Oh, those look good. Oh, a doctor and a baker. Oh, no. Just just a baker. Come again. Just... Good afternoon. I'm Alex Mayford Johnson, and I will be your new doctor coming in. Noise! <laughs> You wanted to see me? Yes, Josh. Please come in and close the door behind you. 
How's Scott doing? Is he recovering from his heart attack? Yes, he's doing just fine in a coma. Um, no leads yet on how that ladder magically slipped out from underneath him. Wasn't he hanging a banner for some sort of... Ongoing investigation? We don't talk about that. <sighs> now, I want to start by telling you how good of a job you've been doing these past few weeks subbing for us. I really appreciate it. I've, I've really enjoyed being able to stay in one classroom and, you know, getting to know the kids and what they need help with. It, it's been a humbling, amazing experience. It just makes me really look forward to getting the full-time teacher position. That's good to hear. About the full-time teaching position. Did the district get back to you? Yes. what they say? Unfortunately, you do not meet the criteria. What criteria? Just the criteria. Could you be a bit more specific? But Josh, we love having you here. You're doing a really good job filling in for our real teachers. Is that all? Yes. Could I ask you what stopped me from being qualified? I went through two interviews. Josh, it's a new process, okay? The program has changed. You're great at English, history, social sciences, even math. But you don't have any experience in coding. Have a good day, Mr. Wallace. I'll swing the door open any faster, Jerkulies, and then may come off its hinges. Excuse me? You almost hit me with the door there, himbo. <laughs> well, I apologize for not being able to see who's on the other side of an opening door. That's what these yellow marks on the ground are for? You need to be more careful. And you need to be more respectful. Respect is earned, not given, asshole. <sighs> so is detention. Come with me. <laughs> So, you leaving early? Yeah, I got accepted to a nurse practitioner's program, so I've been taking half days and getting ready to pack things. Uh, oh no! I, I mean, congratulations, but I'm sad that we're losing you so soon. I'm just so grateful for everything you've done. What do you mean? Well, when my mother left my father, and this place not only stayed open but thrived, I knew my father was a part of the cartel. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> yep. And looking into my father's life, I discovered you. And without you, we wouldn't have this place. I was really looking forward to working with you. <laughs> That's so sweet. Now I'm thinking like, why am I moving? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're leaving? Yes, fortunately. You're going to miss out on all the sweet treats I made. At least I won't get diabetes, okay? <laughs> well, for me. Oh. I mean, I, the majority of them are low in sugar, so. Just kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's finally good to meet the face that saved this place. Thank you. Oh. When you graduate, let's talk partners. You got it, baby. <laughs> you are a senior, right? Yeah. Oh, just like you. Excuse me? Senior high school student. Senior citizen. 
Preston, I thought you were coming by my class later. Well, I was, but Benito Miss Benito over here is trying to keep me locked up. Mr. Fields? What's going on? I am glad you came. This kid is way too small for me. He's got the entire school year school work done already. Yeah, I know he's smart. It's one of my student aides. But why is he in detention? You didn't do anything. You were being disrespectful. Well, how? You can't put students in detention for just anything. He called me a jerkules. Preston. And an asshole. That's rude! Preston, what is going on? I don't want to talk about it with him anymore. I'll give you all the room. Preston, talk to me. Can I come with you? No. That would be inappropriate. No, why? Why? What's wrong with the place you're living? They've been saying this house is meant for boys, not me. I turned 18. Three. Three. House fathers. It changed. Changed how? He took me into his bedroom to talk about some new rules. Took advantage of me. Kristen. I wasn't ready. I it's didn't okay. need to. Hey, it's not you. It's not you. It's okay. It's not you. I want you to meet some friends of ours. Wait. <clears throat> He's. He's your friend? He's... I... Kind of. Doesn't sound like it to me. Yeah, me either. Uh, we are friends... He and I are friends with somebody who's lived in a host home before. Okay, I trust them. Do you trust me? Yeah. I trust you. You either have an OnlyFans account or you sell drugs. No teacher could afford this place. Or I want it in sweepstakes or I have roommates. Oh, so he can't afford this place and he's not your friend. Don't do that to yourself. Oh. What do we have here? This here is Preston. It's okay. I'm gonna let y'all have the room. I have to... You're safe here. I have to go check on Josh. I'm gonna be right over there. Hi! Anything I can help you with? Like some coffee or something? <laughs> You know what? Yeah, um, I'll, I'll take a 10 ounce iced vanilla latte sugar free with soy milk. Black it is. I'll get you creamer. Ah! Uh, Amber! Ah! Uh, Miss Clark! Hi. 
I want to make sure that you know that he wasn't reacting to you. He's been through a traumatic event. Yeah, I know. Doesn't make it any easier. All I'm trying to do is help the kid, and all I do is remind him of the person that hurt him. It's fair to be easier that I just remove myself from the situation for now. You are such a strong young man. And what happened to you is not your fault. But with your permission, I would like to take you to meet a friend of mine. Who's this friend? Well, like you, I was in a house just like the one you left. But it was a good home. And the guy that I grew up with in the organization now takes over it, and I'm sure he would love to help your situation out. Okay, but what if he comes after me because I don't go back? Why can't I just stay here? Why can't I live here with you? That's not practical. There's teachers living in both of these households. You know, legally, we could get in trouble just for doing this. And oh, don't you worry about him. If there's one thing we do in this community, it's clean up our own homes. Okay, what's going on here? You opening up a board home? We did bring you in. Now what up a little bit move? Man, I'm tired of moving. So what do you think, Preston? I mean, it's not ideal, but said so they gave me a part-time job, gave me a car so I can go back and forth to finish high school. What? You already have enough credits to graduate? True. But it's the experience. Childhood wasn't exactly what I wish it was, but you were the best part. The fairy tale. Thank you, Miss Carp. Will you be in class tomorrow? Yes, I will. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you in class tomorrow. No more detention. You know, I've done all my work for class for the rest of the year, so Pops I like that kid. Of course you do. So what? Uh, you think it food? Food's a good idea. We might hit traffic on the way. Get out my head, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I am honestly so thankful for your friends. Yeah, they're not that bad. And that was my stomach. Okay, let's get food. Right now. <laughs>